Thursday, y'all. Happy Thursday. I wish I was saying happy Friday. Because I'm ready for this week to be over and done. I hope everybody had a good week. Mine is kind of turtling along. This day in particular went extra slow. But I just came on here real quick to share y'all. I'm all, to me, I'm, something always funny happens to me all the time it seems like. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm sure people get stuff that happens to them, but I don't know. I just encounter a lot of craziness where I live or whatever, which I'm sure wherever, wherever you live is probably craziness too. But anyway, I just got off the train from, from coming from work and it was just like all kind of crazy people on the train today for some reason but there was this couple they were kind of sitting cat a corner to me I was like facing that way and they were kind of sitting cat a corner like sideways on one of the side seats or whatever so I kept seeing them like kind of glance at me and whisper you know whatever so that could mean several things um but the guy, I don't know if they were brother, sister, a couple, husband, wife, whatever the case may be. So, I kept hearing him say, I'm going to ask her, I'm going to ask her. So, I'm like, oh, Lord, <laughs> what is this about? So, they roll all the way to the end because I get off at the last stop. So, I guess he still was working his, his nerve up. So, when we got off the train... He finally said, excuse me, ma'am. I was like, yes. I was just kind of bracing myself because I didn't know what he was going to say. He's like, I really like your hair. I was like, okay, thank you. And he said, um, at well, he said my friend is what he said. So I still don't know what girlfriend, whatever. But he said, my friend wants to know if that's a wig <laughs> and I was like in shock because I'm thinking are you kidding me I mean my hair I'm not really seeing it on the video maybe it does when I play it back but it does look kind of big it is it's getting bigger it's getting bigger and I don't really wear my hair out a lot and this is a wash and go I did this morning. It was like a real quick one. When I got out the shower, I don't even think I put any leave in on. I just put the gel on and went. And I've got a pin like right here on both sides. And I just cracked up at him. And he was like, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I said, no, honey, you did not offend me at all. I said, it's a compliment. I said, but no, this is my hair. And, and he said, well, let me tell you why she was asking because, and I, she actually, she, you could tell she was natural. She looked natural. I don't know if she was, uh, if her hair was just curly from like a texturizer, but it looked kind of, it was kind of shorter. It wasn't really, really short, but she kind of had it kind of pinned back or whatever. But she wants, wanted to know because she wanted to get a wig like that. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. No, this is my hair. Cause she was saying how it's blended so well so she knew she must not have some knowledge of wigs but i you know i just start rattling off wig sites you know to her go you know check it out check uh hair sisters out uh what's the other one um golden beauty mart i used to get a lot of my wigs from there i just start told her a couple wig sites that she could go to and some some stores i don't know what part of town they live in but i told her a couple of these spots i just thought that was so funny so my hair is on wig status. I guess I should be flattered. I don't know. That was funny. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. A lot with, oh my God, it was so many crazy people on the train. This guy was on there. He sung the whole way from, I don't know, I had my earphones on. I really didn't hear him at first when I got on. So I don't know if he was already on there, got on there, but his, his singing got pro progressively louder. And he was singing church songs. I was like, okay, cool, you know, let's get our church on. That's fine. But something made me glance over at him. And he's sitting there drinking a deuce deuce of Co 45 out in the open on the train. I was like, really? Are, are you really sitting up on a train full of people drinking 
Code 45. Okay, that's crazy person number one. Number two, it was this, it was these three older, well, I encountered them before I encountered the man drinking the Code 45. I had, the first train that I took, we all had to get off at a certain stop and get on a different train. They was taking it out of service, whatever, sometimes that happens, so you got to get on the next train that comes. So, I had seen the little, you know, the white people, you know, it was like two older white ladies. When I say older, they looked like 80s. They were like older, looked like. You know, they were all gray, which really don't mean that, that doesn't mean that they're old, old, but they just look kind of old. They just move slow. And it was a white gentleman with them. So, they had been announcing, you got to get off at the next stop, trains out of service, boop de boop de boop So, when we get to the stop and have to get off. One of the ladies just started cussing. <laughs> I mean, like a sailor. I was like, oh my. <laughs> it's not like, okay, I'm not a stranger to cussing at all. At all. But it, I was just so surprised <laughs> to hear her with her little old self cussing. I mean, she was pissed that they had to get off the train and get on the next one. In the hu I don't know if he was somebody, one of them's husband. He just was kind of looking at her. I'm sure he was used to. He just was looking at her like, okay, there's nothing we do. Just calm down. I thought that was so funny. Then, well, how long does it mean? Six minutes? Okay, let me tell you this other little quick story. There's this homeless guy. I'm Well, I'm assuming he's homeless. He, he be down by my job. You know, and he, you know, there's a lot of homeless people. But... About a month ago, and yes, I have a soft heart a lot of times. I give money to a lot of the homeless people that be around my job. So they kind of know me and expect, <laughs> whenever they see me, expect, okay, where's, where's my change? But he he was out there asking people, can you give me something to eat? Can you give me something to eat? Can you give me something to eat? That's how he would say it. Can you give me something to eat? Ma'am, can you give me something to eat? So, you know, I was in a good mood. I said, okay, I'm going into 7-Eleven. Go on here and here and get you something. You know, he got him a hot, I got him a hot dog and some chips, I think, and a bottle of water or something. It was, what, $4, whatever. Okay. So, he was very thankful and whatnot. So, I seen him out there. No, that day, this happened about three weeks ago. That day, I told him, I said, well, let me give you a little bit of advice. You need to be more sweet with your approach. Now, I don't know how many people... I mean, I done seen a lot of people walk by you. I mean, this ain't the first time I've seen you out here. I've seen people walk, keep walking by you. You need to be a little more sweet with your approach. You know, kind of ask people how they doing. You know, don't just keep giving something to eat, keep giving something to eat. You know, the people... They don't, most people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear any of it for whatever. For to be real about it. But, you know. But... Today, or was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I seen him out there again. He was, he was, he didn't see me. I was kind of behind him. He was kind of around the corner, but I could hear him. And when I walked up, I saw it was him. So I had went across the street, kind of in the opposite direction where he was standing. But anyway, I heard him saying, hi, ma'am. How's your day? Hi, sir. How's your day? I'm really hungry. I haven't had anything. With, do you have any spare change? And I was thinking, Wow. He actually listened to me. Or maybe maybe I was like one of many people that told him something similar and he listened. So I just thought that was kind of funny. So I took kind of credit, you know. I said, oh, wow. Well, I hope, you know, he gets, you know, more people that are feeling generous. And I mean, he seems like a nice guy. He's never disrespectful. But I just thought maybe he needed to kind of switch up his approach a little. Just a little taste. Just a little taste. But that is it, you guys. I'm just doing a little car video. I'm on my way into this store now. So, I just wanted to share some of my craziness of the week with you guys. Trust me, there's always something going on with me. But, you know, today I felt like sharing. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.